Have you ever wondered why so few transoceanic flights exist in the Southern Hemisphere? Despite the vast oceans like the South Pacific, South Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, airlines face unique challenges in operating commercial flights across these regions. One of the key factors influencing this is ETOPS regulations, which play a crucial role in determining the feasibility and safety of these routes. ETOPS, or Extended Range Twin Engine Operations Performance Standards, is a safety standard set by the International Civil Aviation Organization. These standards ensure that twin-engine aircraft can safely reach a diversion airport in the event of an engine failure. Under ETOPS regulations, an aircraft must remain within a specific distance from a suitable emergency landing airport. Historically, this limitation required three or four engine aircraft for long over-water flights. However, advancements in engine reliability have allowed twin-engine planes to operate these routes, provided they meet strict ETOPS certification requirements. Initially, ETOPS certification only permitted flights within 60 minutes of a diversion airport, but as technology advanced, the Federal Aviation Administration extended this to 120 minutes and beyond, enabling more efficient operations. For certification, manufacturers must demonstrate an aircraft's ability to fly on one engine, and airlines must train crews and maintain aircraft to stringent standards. Despite these advancements, the Southern Hemisphere remains underserved compared to the Northern Hemisphere, where busy air corridors, such as those between North America and Europe, dominate. Connections like South America to Australia or Africa to Australia are scarce, even with modern technology. Several factors contribute to this disparity. Geographically, the Southern Hemisphere has smaller populations and fewer cities with strong economic or cultural ties compared to the Northern Hemisphere. For instance, there are well-established connections between Portugal and Brazil or Germany and Namibia, reflecting the Northern Hemisphere's dominance in long-haul air travel. In addition to population and demand challenges, technical and safety limitations play a significant role. Long-haul flights across the Southern Hemisphere often lack suitable diversion airports. For example, flights over Antarctica or the South Pacific must adhere to ETOPS rules, which prioritize passenger safety in emergencies. Norwegian Air Shuttle once planned a historic flight between Buenos Aires and Perth across the South Pole using a Boeing 787. However, the airline's financial struggles and the COVID-19 pandemic ultimately prevented the route from launching. A major challenge for Southern Hemisphere routes is the scarcity of diversion airports. Unlike Northern Hemisphere routes, where airports like Gander in Canada or Kaflavik in Iceland are readily available, Southern Hemisphere routes often traverse vast, remote regions without suitable options for emergency landings. This makes handling medical or technical diversions particularly challenging and contributes to the reluctance of airlines to operate such routes. Despite these challenges, a few airlines do operate transoceanic flights in the Southern Hemisphere. For example, Cantus connects Sydney to Johannesburg with six weekly flights, primarily using the Boeing 787-9 but occasionally upgrading to the Airbus A380 during peak seasons. Tagangola operates for weekly flights between Luanda and Snow Palo using the Boeing 777-300ER, reflecting Angola's Portuguese ties. Latam connects Santiago to Auckland daily with a Boeing 787-9, and the route continues onward to Sydney. Other notable routes include Air Callan between New Maya and Papiete, Air Tahiti Nui between Papiete and Auckland, Air Mauritius between Port Louis and Perth. South African airways between Perth and Johannesburg as well as Johannesburg and Snow Paulo and Latham between Santiago and Melbourne as well as Snow Paulo and Johannesburg. While advancements in aviation technology have made these routes possible, they remain rare due to the unique challenges of the Southern Hemisphere. Airlines must navigate sparse diversion airports, long distances, and relatively low passenger demand. Although the aviation industry continues to evolve with advancements in aircraft and regulations, the Northern Hemisphere continues to dominate global long-haul travel.